Why, thank you very much. 109 and still going strong. You're kidding. Yes, I am. <laughs> but getting closer by the day. <laughs> well, 23 skidoo, my buck. Time and dragon technology wait for no man. 23 skidoo. I like that. That's from the 20s, right? Very good. I'm impressed. Very few people remember that nowadays. I'm Rosalind DeMarco. A pleasure, Rosalind. Buddy. Yeah, you know, the 20s era is kind of a, a hobby of mine. My mom and dad were always chattering on about how they grew up in the roaring 20s. My dad was always talking about his door to door milk deliveries, and my mom was all about bathtub gin. <laughs> you know, I guess I got a Yeah. Hey, hey, that's a beauty. Hmm. 
Did I hear you playing some jazz before I rang the bell? Oh, perceptive and good ears as well. <laughs> Not jazz exactly. A little tune called Vals Mazanetta by Rudy Weedoff. Who? Never heard of him. Oh, wait, you mean Rudy Valley? The brightest shining star of an era. <laughs> Who did soar it to the very heights musical? Who did change it the ear of the world? Hardly to be left behind. Overlooked. Neglected. Ignored. Unrecognized. Disregarded. Consigned <laughs> to oblivion. Lost future generations to whom he previously bore enlightenment. Yeah. <laughs> Actor, huh? Oh, yes. And dancer, too. But in my day, we were called actresses. None of this modern PC unisex nonsense they're all a liar about these days. So, to uh, answer your query, Rudy Valley and Rudy Weedoff used to uh, hang together, as they might have said, they might say, in these days. But you've never heard of Rudy Weedoff? You call yourself a 20s enthusiast. Well, I can't say as I'm surprised. Everyone knew his name. Everyone knew his music. Saxophone playing was even banned after hours in some cities because everyone wanted to blow our stacks like Rudy Weedoff. Oh, I can still remember walking down the street and hearing people at all hours trying to play his most famous tune. I think that must have been the one that started it all. Saxophobia! <laughs> Sorry, I, I must have drifted off for a moment, remembering the tune. <laughs> yeah, it's no problem. It's almost as if I could hear the music myself. <laughs> so, you were a dancer. Oh, yes. I was a fresh-faced young teen from Idaho who had just won the County Miss Spud contest. I was <laughs> oh so anxious to be a real dancer on the stage, so I went to New York with my life savings. Twelve dollars. And I took my two little suitcases full of all my hopes and dreams. Oh, of course, I had to work a lot of odd jobs before I finally got my big break. But I was lucky enough to land a gig as a chorus girl in the biggest name in vaudeville, the Orpheum Circuit. Because I did have the legs for it then. <laughs> Everything else, too, come to think of it. <laughs> And look at me now. Well, time marches on. Nothing we can do about it, so might as well not fret about it, I say. I can't imagine you being any more lovely than you are right now. My goodness, what a charm. <laughs> if only I were 50 years younger. <laughs> Nonsense, madam. If only I were 50 years older. <laughs> Young man, are you flirting with me? <laughs> so, you got your start as a chorus girl, huh? I did, and I had a big break, but it was when Rudy Weedoff came to join the bill for a time. Oh, it was wonderful. I told him I was a big fan, and he liked my dancing. <laughs> he took a sign to me and asked me if I would choreograph some dances to his music, which I got to perform during his act. 
Oh, it was stupendous to dance again. Young man, would you care to dance? It would be my pleasure. I think my favorite was always Don's L'Oreal.
Chaplin? Such an impertinent question from a relative stranger. <laughs> stranger? We danced! How true. <laughs> so? Well, my dear boy, now that would be telling. <laughs> Man, that must have been exciting. Exciting times indeed. Make no mistake. Speakeasies and prohibition. Oh, flapper dresses with their fringes and their ruby red lipstick. All those glamorous movie stars. The women of the silver screen, we called them. Everyone adored them. When I think back now, I can still see all of those images in my head with one of Rudy's lovely waltzes playing. Exciting times indeed. Thank you. 
you work brings to mind the Keystone Cops. You don't say. In fact, I just did. Uh, yeah. I'm not normally this clumsy. I, oh, thank you. Thank you. Oh, you know, uh, who am I kidding? Just slap on an outrageous mustache and throw a cream pie at me. I'm just that kind of guy. Well, at least you're not that kind of guy with a saxophone. You would have been banned after hours, you know. Yeah, you said something about that. Uh, no sack playing after hours in certain states. Fortunately, the ban didn't extend to clutziness and pie throwing. Uh, I'm sure if you'd been around in those days, I'm sure it would have been. <laughs> I suggest keeping a low profile. They might just reinstate the ban. <laughs> yeah, nobody after hours, huh? Yeah, I get that from a lot of people these days. I shouldn't wonder. Mm. What kind of hostess am I? Young man, would you care for some coffee or, or a, a cup of tea? No, I'm fine. I'm not much of a hot beverage drinker. But uh, thank you for offering. Not many people bother. 
just old-fashioned common courtesy. Mm. But if you don't mind, I think I'll have a cup. Mm. I do love my coffee. Do you know, in my day, it was 50 cents a pound. Yeah, you know, it's amazing. It's like 10 or 15 bucks now. How well I know. My percolator only costs 98 cents. And we used to have to grind real whole coffee beans. None of this tray chic design a handheld battery powered grinder mumbo jumbo. I still have my old grinder. Now it's an antique, like me. I used to keep spare change. Well, in my day, no one would have considered turning down a cup of coffee. It would have been considered somewhat churlish. Having a cup of coffee with your sweetheart was the thing to do. A cup of coffee, a sandwich, and you. That was a corner, a table for two. You know, you know, in that case, I would be honored to share a cup of joe with you. And you, not a hot beverage drinker. Young man, you are flirting with me. <laughs> not that I mind. <laughs> You'd have to measure up. The men who flirted with me in my day were the rich and powerful. Producers and politicians, movie stars and vaudeville headliners, even a gangster or two. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I had quite a chassis in my day. <laughs> All the men thought I was the bee's knees in my flapper days. So did some of the women, come to think of it. And uh, how many of these flirting hopefuls were successful? Oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> Let's just say, I've been wooed by and kept struggling more than my fair share of the famous and infamous. And let's just leave it at that, shall we? <laughs> All the stories I could tell you. I'd love to hear them. Yes, I'm sure you would. Perhaps I should go get our coffee. Yeah. yourself to some cream and sugar. Uh, I've also brought some Lorna Dunes. They've been my favorite since I was a little girl. Yeah, my mom was crazy about them too. Me, I'm a modern kid. I grew up with Oreos. Check your history, history buff. 
Oreos were invented the same year as Lorna Dunes. 1912. Why do you, why do you know something like that? I can just, I'm dumb. Oh. Oh. And I've always been interested in things. In my day, new things were always popping up. New things, exciting things. Well, we still got, uh, you know, even newer new things these days. Yes, but nowadays it's all about technology. In my day, things were about people. If you wanted to chat with a friend, you would go over to them, the house to visit. If you and they both had a telephone, oh, you wouldn't put it in the drawer. <laughs> you would call them up for a chat. Nowadays, the only chats are online. I used to love writing letters with pencil and paper. You do know what pencil and paper are. <laughs> I used to love to sit and ponder my thoughts, and put pen to paper, and then address the envelope, and lick it, and give it directly to, into the hands of my postman, Charlie, to be delivered directly into the hands of the recipient. Oh, yes. Do you know your postman's name? Not a clue. Never get anything besides junk mail and bills. I wish. My friend could actually touch what I had created for her. Actually hold my thoughts in her hand. Nowadays they've taken all the personality out of it. You dash off an email. You don't use your phone to call someone. You text them. <laughs> You, you, you write headlines about yourself on Facebook without actually communicating with real people. My granddaughter set up a Facebook account for me. I haven't an idea what to do with it. Oh, well, that's easy. All you gotta oh, do is Oh, yes, yes, I understand how it works. I'm not that caught up in the past, you know. But why would I want to talk to my friends without actually speaking with them? Nowadays, it's all about posts and blogs and instant messages. And what on earth is a Twitter? <laughs> if I want tweets, I'll go to a bird sanctuary. We can't even be bothered to write real words anymore. What does ong mean? <laughs> <laughs> O-M-G? Ah, uh, oh my god. I see. And, uh, O-M-F-G. Oh, my. Oh, my. I have no idea. <laughs> I see. Well, we started it all in my day with, with film and radio. Assembly lines. Drive the same car as the stars. Do you know, when Charles Lindbergh crossed the Atlantic in a plane, it was world news. Now we send shuttles up into orbit and it doesn't even raise a sidebar. We had the very first talking picture. The jazz singer. Mickey Mouse. The discovery of penicillin. And the very first! <laughs> Sliced bread. <laughs> Can you imagine? <laughs> uh, I'll tell you, you have lived to see some pretty amazing things. Still living to see it, thank you very much. It all comes down to keeping a sense of perspective. That, and perhaps more importantly, your sense of humor. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.
<laughs> well, if there's one thing you've got, it's a sense of humor. Feisty <laughs> old lady, eh? <laughs> yes. Couldn't have put it better myself. Oh. Yes, well, indeed you are. As I said, it all comes down to keeping your sense of perspective and your sense of humor, and you can't go wrong. Ever onward. <laughs> Keep your mind in the here and now, but always dream towards the bright the future. Well, that's good advice. Oh, the best. <laughs> oh, yes. So I kept my dreams of being on stage alive until the day that I got off that bus in New York City and into my new life. Never stopped dreaming. Always looked. Looked. Looked on the real world. You know, I've almost got you all hooked up now. So uh, why don't you put on one of those great Rudy Weedoff records while I finish things up, all right? You know, it's funny. As we've been talking today, I feel as though I've heard Rudy's music and seen images on a big screen the entire time. Yeah. Creepy, isn't it? A bit. Mm. Oh, would you mind if I put on something else? Sure. I was a dancing angel in a film once, and ever since then I grew to love the sound of a harp. Even when it plays jazz music, I find it soothing and chaste in a way that I could never quite manage to be. <laughs> Makes me feel somewhat angelic, so to speak. You know, I think that description suits you to a T. Okay. I gotta say, you are a far more interesting and accommodating hostess than I ever could have dreamed of. I mean, most people don't even give me a second look. But you, you care about things, about people, like Rudy Weedolf and Charlie Chaplin. 
And you want them to be remembered. And so you shared those memories with me. And, and now they're memories that I'll always cherish too. Buddy, I'm going to a concert next week of Rudy Weedoff's music, by, played by a Broadway saxophonist. A young man by the name of Chad Smith, who's <laughs> Chad Smith is trying to keep Ruby's music alive. Mm. It, it, perhaps you'd like to make some new memories and accompany me. Music is always best shared, yes? Oh, I, I'd be delighted. It would be an honor. Yeah. Well, you know, for right now, i got to get on to my next service call. So uh, why don't you play me some of that angelic uh, heart music? Well, I clean up, all right? Oh, the roaring twenties. <laughs> Nifty times. I'll never forget. Ooh. All right, I got you all fixed up. I programmed it <laughs> to sleep, perchance to dream. I saw that. <laughs> Good night, sweet princess. Dream well, Rosalind DeMarco. I will see you again. <laughs> 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 